Hi, in this video, I will be teaching you how to create tables in our studio. Before we start, you must first download the sample dataset. The link is in the description below. After downloading the data, let's upload this into our studio. First, open our studio and go to File, New File, and our script. Then, in the source window, type the code data1, read.csv, file.choose, header is equal to true. Highlight the code and press Control enter Locate the file, and we're done. With this, the dataset is now stored in Data1. To view it, click the object in the Environment or History window. This is an actual data from a research conducted in Davao City with 100 respondents and contains 7 variables, namely sex, which is a categorical variable with two levels, male or female. Age, which is a categorical variable with five levels, 20 to 25, 26 to 30, 31 to 35, 36 to 40, and above 40. Educational attainment, which is a categorical variable with three levels, elementary level, high school level, and college level. Proactiveness, which is a numerical variable that describes the respondent's willingness to work. Innovativeness, which is a numerical variable that describes the respondent's willingness to introduce new products and procedures. Risk-taking, which is a numerical variable that describes if the respondents are actively willing to take risks while understanding and evaluating these risks and opportunity evaluation, which is a numerical variable that describes how well the respondents evaluate opportunities. Proactiveness, innovativeness, risk-taking, and opportunity evaluation were achieved by getting the average of the responses to the five statements under each indicator. Using this dataset, let's create frequency and percentage tables. Frequency and percentage tables display counts and percentages for each distinct value found in a variable respectively. We usually use this to describe categorical variables. To get the frequency and percentage table of a variable using RStudio, we will use the table and prop.table functions respectively. Object 1 in each function contains the variable you want to use to create the tables. Also, you need to know the column name used to describe that variable in your data. For example, the sex variable, which can be found in data1, has a column name of sex. So, to call the sex variable, you must type data one dollar sign sex highlight the code and click control enter and you will see the entire data set under this variable similarly to call age and educational attainment type data one dollar sign age and data1 dollar sign educational attainment remember that our studio is case sensitive notice that e and a are capitalized 
whereas the two words are separated by a dot because when you look at data 1, this is how it was typed in our data set. Let's try to create frequency and percentage tables for variable sex. To do so, simply type the code table, open parentheses, data1, dollar sign, sex. And prop dot table open parentheses table open parentheses data one dollar sign sex at the end type asterisk. 100. This allows us to multiply each number by 100. Highlight these two lines of codes and press Ctrl Enter. In the console or terminal window, you will see the result. There are 23 females, which is 23%, and 77 males, which is 77%. I encourage you to pause the video and try to get the frequency and percentage table for age. To get the frequency and percentage for age, simply type the codes. Table, open parentheses, data1, dollar sign h and prop dot table open parentheses table open parentheses data one dollar sign h in this case let's try to skip the times 100 in this code. Highlight the codes and press Ctrl Enter and you will see the result in the console window. Notice that the percentages are expressed in decimal. If you were not able to see the result and you get some errors, check the spelling, capitalization, and the syntax of your code. This will solve most of the problem. Again, RStudio is case sensitive. Next, we will create contingency tables in RStudio. Contingency tables, also called cross tabs or two way tables, are used to summarize the relationship between several categorical variables. A contingency table is a special type of frequency distribution table where two variables are shown simultaneously. To create one in RStudio, we will use the xtabs function. Variable 1 and variable 2 will be replaced by the object that contains the two variables that you will use, whereas object 1 is where these variables are stored. Suppose we want to create a contingency table for sex and age. These variables are stored in data1. To do that, simply type xtabs, open parentheses, the tilde sign, located at the upper left corner of your keyboard, just below the escape button, type sex, plus age, comma, and data1. If you were not able to see the results and you get some errors, check the spelling, capitalization, and the syntax of your code. Make sure that S and A 
in sex and age respectively, are capitalized because that is how it was named inside Data1. This will solve most of the problem. Again, I encourage you to pause the video and try to get the contingency table for sex and educational attainment. To get the contingency table for sex and educational attainment, simply type the code xtabs open parentheses the tilde sign sex plus educational attainment comma data1 and close parentheses make sure that there is no space in between educational and attainment and they are separated by a dot highlight the code and press control enter in the console window you will see the results that's how you create frequency percentage and contingency tables in our studio. In the next video, I will demonstrate to you how to create graphs in our studio. Thank you very much.